Dear immense member, in this video I will show you how to fill uh, our data collection form and researcher form and how to send samples to, to immense uh, center. First, uh, we will send you some instructions and the documents uh, and in this workflow we summarize how to proceed all the all the process. First thing you have to do is send an email to Dr. Kanzian and he will uh, send you the related documents and other things and then in this according to in this workflow you will get uh, access uh, our data collection form and uh, researcher uh, information form and then according to this workflow again you will get uh, this video and the other instruction and uh, in this video I will show you how to fill our data collection form and after that you able to send your samples to, to our center first thing you will receive a email uh, from us and in this email we will give you access to our data folder this folder is specifically created for a center and according to to their shipment when you click the open button in in the email you will access to uh, this folder but uh, to access this data folder you need a google uh, account without the google account you cannot access this uh, folder when you enter the, this folder you will see the three different uh, file in in the first file it is a research uh, researcher information uh, form when you enter the, this folder you will right click to this form and open with the google sheets when you open the, this this file in this file you have to fill the all the information uh, uh, related to uh, your department and institution and also if you have more than one uh, affiliation please enter in a different line and please also encourage the, your colleagues to to fill uh, this form uh, we need to this form uh, in the publication steps and when we need something uh, to access your <coughs> email we will directly look to uh, this form and in this folder we have uh, two form of the data collection uh, form first is you will fill this uh, data collection uh, form version 4 and the other for the any reason if you need uh, uh, to access the new data collection form or you missed or late something in the in the first one you will access to this another one please do not fill if you don't need to fill another data collection form when you right click to this form and open with the Google, Google Sheets you will see the first this form and in this form we put to some instructions also some cautions please read carefully to fill uh, this data collection form without any any issue so after looking and reading the, this part you will see the instruction in this instruction we define the uh, variables and give the description of this variable please uh, carefully look to all variables and uh, before uh, starting to enter your uh, patient data uh, you, you will need to uh, summarize the which data fields needed and in this video I will show you uh, how to enter from beginning to end uh, this data form it's a bit different than the, uh, our previous uh, data form first you have to enter all data in the in this Google separate sheet please do not download uh, this file on your computer just fill the form on the Google and then <coughs> everything will be finished first you need to give a 
ID for your uh, patients and please be careful there is four different type of the data. first is multiple myeloma and second is smoldering multiple myeloma and third MGAS and then control for the each sheet you have to enter the data separately <coughs> in this case we are entering the data for the multiple myeloma patient first you have to enter the original ID and we have the drop down list for the some data fields you able to just select through the this drop down list or you can type the what you want to enter <coughs> After the this drop down lists, there is a some fields you have to enter manually, uh, like age at the, at the diagnosis. You have to type uh, the age, and we have some fields you have to enter manually. And there are some fields uh, we put to please leave blank. Uh, please do not use the, these fields to enter any data. Uh, we will use these fields uh, after we receive the data so I am going through the through the variables you can see the example in the in this first two lines and you can enter the data according to according to to these examples and some fields re restricted to enter uh, data for the uh, unvalid data for example if you enter the start smoking year like 18 you will see the problem it will say there was a problem because it start from the 19th so I am going through the through data fields And uh, one important point, we have some data fields. You can do the multiple selection in the, this data fields. And uh, on the <coughs> on the label, you can see the which uh, variables are uh, enabled to multiple selection. To do this, first thing you have to go this custom menu, and then select the multi selection option. It will takes time and sometimes it says you need the uh, verification <coughs> and please give the uh, access to, to this uh, option it will run some some codes and then you're able to access this menu please click the again multiple selection and you will see the options for the this variable so if you want to put more than one entry like igg and iga in this case you select this field and press the field current when you press the field current you can see two options are um, selected and it gives error invalid because this is not supported through the google so uh, ignore the, this error when the multiple selection but also you can select the, for the single variable directly through the here and then I will show you some other features of the, our new data collection form for example we put the cytogenetic mutations here so if you want to again this is enabled for the multiple selection if you want to go this field please press to get validation from current sometimes it takes time to to uh, show the all option here you can see there is a more than 700 <coughs> uh, cytogenetic chains so it is very hard to 
hard to find the uh, which uh, options or uh, which mutations are valid to you so you can select through the, this uh, window which mutation you want to enter and click the field current and you will get data also if you want to type by yourself please enter the like uh, in the in the cell enter the your cytogenetic change and it will shows you at the down and uh, the list uh, what you want to enter like I will enter the chromosome 13 so there is no option uh, there is no uh, <coughs> mutation in the chromosome 13 in our database so I will put the 14 and you can see the all mutation related to chromosome 14 in this example uh, like in the chromosome 13 if you want to enter a, a mutation a cytogenetic change you have another data fields in this <coughs> in this part you have the free text node so you can able to enter your mutation in the in this part like here so you can enter uh, free text uh, with uh, cytogenetic chains and after that i am going through the fields and one important part is uh, treatments because there is a, a lot of option for the treatments we put the first line second line and third line treatments and also maintenance treatments uh, like according to according to clinically application and for the drug we again have the multiple selection option and uh, we put also uh, these triplet uh, treatments uh, abbreviations if you want to put if it fit your uh, patient you can directly select the, uh, the triplet treatments through the through the, our drop down list and if you apply it another treatment in the first line therapy also we put the all drug uh, options for the multiple myeloma you can select uh, more than one drug and combine them uh, and enter your data also <coughs> if you want to see the these uh, abbreviations we have a separate sheet for the abbreviation you can go through and look to which abbreviation are uh, represent the which drug combination please do not use the any other combination also if you enter the something random like x c r it will shows you this is invalid and when we look the, the, the data we will uh, send you feedback and say uh, this is not in our list please uh, use the, our abbreviation system and i am going through the data we have maintenance therapy second line and third line uh, therapy please <coughs> select and uh, enter the all uh, treatment apply to your uh, patient and end of the these uh, fields and also in other uh, groups we have the sample related information please enter the all uh, data fields like what kind of uh, material origin you are sending and what's the coagulants and if it's applicable uh, how the DNA extracted and other every information you can enter the general uh, notes 